Dear ladies, gentlemen, and mammals, welcome to another episode at Wacko Rush Gaming. Fun Plus is a company that knows what they are doing. You may think that they are being stupid with this game that many of us enjoy, however, that's where we are wrong. That's just that right. That's messed up. Whilst I am with many of you feeling the intense pressure to spend to stay relevant, but at this moment it truly shows who are the real spenders to the pretenders. Yes, I am a pretending gorilla. He did the monster mash. It was a graveyard smash. It happened in a flash. The monster mash. Fun Plus total revenue projection is nearly $260 million this year with a total of 900 plus employees employed worldwide. Just think about it, if this is your company and it's making $260 million a year, would you be happy? Now, can I ask you all a big favor? I spent a lot of time to make the research and review articles to make this sort of videos. If you're enjoying my content, please do smack on the likey likey button and subscribe as this would spread this con sort of content a lot wider to many audiences. I want to share with you something else. Total Fun Plus mobile app revenue in February 2024 was $40 million, including $20 million for iOS apps and $20 million for Android apps. Total mobile app downloads for Fun Plus was 4 million, including 2 million iOS app downloads and 2 million Android app downloads. Fun Plus has a total of 98 apps, including 31 iOS apps and 67 Android apps. Yet, State of Survival is still their top grossing app last month and many other months before that, whilst the most downloaded app recently was the Sea of Conquest. This article purely focuses on their performance from the iOS store, that's Apple's for most of us. I mean, if you were to look at this chart, the revenue from Apple store alone is circa $6 million for State of Survival. So State of Survival is still their best performing game to date and none of their other games have been able to emulate the success success of State of Survival. With this in mind, I'm sure you'd understand why I personally don't think Fun Plus would abandon their State of Survival project anytime soon. If anything, they would look to cash in as much as they can for the foreseeable future. Yet many of us want to still play this game and avoid being the cash cow for Fun Plus. So here's an idea. Hey there. Psst, psst. That's right, you. Want some orange lollipops? I wish I can afford more of these lollipops, but I cannot afford it. Worry not, my dear lollipops lover. With a bundle up, you can enjoy your bundles of lollipops with more than 35% discounts. You could even get your first bundle worth of $10 for free. Thanks to bundle up, you can now shop into your mouth as much lollipops without worrying. Remember kids, bundle up can help you secure lots of lollipops, but it doesn't prevent diabetes. Diabetes. Thank you, Wilford. Diabetes. 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 So, what are you waiting for? Check out Bundle Up using the link in the description below and start getting your lollipops using Bundle Up. Thank you, Bundle Up, for sponsoring this video. Did you know the United States, Germany, and UK are actually the biggest and most lucrative market for Fun Plus? In this report, it purely focuses in the United States. In 2023, the performance of zombie themed games on Android in the United States presented a landscape of varied trends and statistics. There are a number of successful zombie themed games in the mobile gaming arena in the United States. Some of you may have heard of Puzzles and Survival by 37 Games ranking which saw fluctuating revenue peaking at around $959,000 per month and dipping to nearly $589,000 per month. Some of you may have heard of Age of Origins from Camel Studio which was a game that I played and promoted. It displayed a more consistent revenue pattern hovering between $510,000 per month and reaching a high of $598,000 per month. Some of you may have heard of The Last Shelter Survival from Long Attack Network Limited, which showed revenue ranging from $280,000 per month to $540,000 per month. Last but not least, some of you may have heard of Last War Survival Game from First Run. Though a newcomer made a splash with a dramatic revenue increase from $28,000 per month to $526,000 per month. Weekly active users in the United States alone for these zombie-themed games are around 0.5 million people. 
State of Survival is the largest player in this field with the most active amount of users but experienced revenue swings with a low of $460,000 per month and a high of $543,000 per month. Therefore, going back to this chart, rank 1 is Puzzles and Survival, rank 2 is Age of Origins, rank 3 is State of Survival, rank 4 is The Last Shelter Survival, finally the last being the newcomer Last War Survival game. Fun Plus is not going to abandon State of Survival and anytime soon, it is their most lucrative game in their stable. It's also their number one earning game in terms of revenue nearly 5 years after launching this game. I mean, if this was you and this is your company and this game is making you the most amount of money, you do the same thing. That explains why there's a continuous investment and development ongoing in this game to maintain its popularity whilst they search for the next big thing. Again, whilst I'm with many of you, I don't agree with their trajectory, but hey, here I am still playing and helping out where I can. So don't shoot this gorilla. I hope you enjoy this informative content. If you do, then please do smash the subscribe button and like the video. Thank you for watching and I'll spell you soon for another video. Goodbye.